Hello and welcome to the first part of my video tutorial for UMG within the Unreal Engine 4. My name is Valhalla and today, today I want to share with you um, my way of working with UMG, set up communications between the dependent classes and blueprints and uh, what is the most important point is we want to avoid that you guys ran into reinst errors or something like that, uh, circular dependencies and so on. Maybe you already experienced these issues and it's keep, it keeps you frustrated because you don't know how to solve these problems and okay let's do it step by step. What we want to do is we want to create uh, widgets and for example, static hat, which represents a, a health bar, and uh, we want to have a main menu and as well as an inventory value uh, menu. Sorry. Um, first of all, let's have a look at this. Um, this is my structure I want to keep for the whole project. Um, it is kind of an arch architecture which is called uh, the model view controller where the controller will be our play controller blueprint um, he is responsible for handling input and forwards information between models and the view is not that important for us because there is only the event draw uh, which means draw every tick or draw every frame. We won't do any magic here, so just cut that out. Um, so when we were, up, oh, I'm sorry, um, the controller is the mass of all models you have we have. So we have a model which is a character, the character has an inventory, the character has attributes and stuff like that. And we have widgets which are the UI designs UI design structures and they are owned by, owned by the player controller. Which means the creation of these those widgets here will be done here inside the player controller. Uh, in order that the player controller can alter the model data, uh, he needs only he needs the references to its models. So uh, when we create a widget, we set a reference to this widget. Uh, when we have a player character, we will have a reference to the player character in here. I'm sorry. It's Annoying. Um, so, those circular dependencies often result because you guys try to have a direct communication between those here. For example, you have a health bar and you want to alter it uh, regarding the current health of the character, you would uh, come up with the conclusion to um, call get character, get health and get health ratio and then alter the health bar uh, ratio. So this will often result into circular dependencies. We want to avoid that. So let's have a look how we can do this. Mm. First of all, um, I created an empty new project. No, not quite empty. It's a first person template. Um, so you guys should have uh, these blueprints here. The my character, my game and my heart. That is not that important here. Um, but in order to alter some, uh, to edit some logic inside the play controller, I created a new blueprint. Set, uh, select a play controller, and this is the result of here. I'll call it play controller blueprint, and on the 
project settings on the maps and modes, I set up this default play controller to my new blueprint. Okay. Um, we want to create some widgets. Um, I think you guys all already know how to do this. Uh, click on user interface and blueprint, a widget blueprint, and the first is uh, game hard widgets. Then another one might be uh, main menu widget. And the third one would be uh, the inventory widget. Okay. Um, now we want to create those um, and set up the references. So let's go into the player controller. Um, we could create those references and widgets right here, but I like to keep it a little bit capsuled, which means I add a new function and call it uh, create widgets and references. Okay. So inside these functions I want to make a sequence step by step and the first thing I want to do is create widget copy and paste copy and paste add a new plan so the first one would be the game heart the meta how the order is the second is the main menu and the third is the inventory menu. So if you want in only in player we could set up a if you have some multiplayer or, or something we will have different player controller. Um for this case I only set up this. Take a reference to ourselves and put it at the owning player. Okay, so for those three guys here we want to create some references. Um, this is the game hot widget reference. This is the promote variable. Um, <coughs> this is the main menu widget reference and the third one would be the inventory widget reference Oop. reference oh I just call it ref <laughs> same goes here okay so Last but not least, we want to add an, another pin, and here we want to create, uh, not create, we want to get the current player character. Get character returns a character, and because we are using the my character blueprint, which is already set up in the project settings. We need to cast it, cast to my character, and the result would be a reference as well, which is the current character. If you have a game uh, where the character may be uh, may be changed with, during gameplay uh, it makes sense to call a current character because when there is a change um, it makes sense that it's already represent the current character my controller process okay so that's it so far um, 
I think. Yeah, I could. Um, this could be a good point to pause my little record. Um, I will do the next part right on. So, see you next time. Thank you for watching.